This is day three in switching to Arch Linux. So this is going to be video two out of five. If you hadn't checked out day one, it's up there. I go over just the overall install experience, uh, any you know customization I needed on XFCE and some of the issues there, and also uh, just general issues with package management between Yay and Pac-Man. So if any of those interest you, check out day one. Uh, I'll link it above. So I have three main topics for day three here that I wanted to go over. The first of which is package management. I touched on this in the first one. However, someone in the comments said, hey, try out PA Mac, or it's a basically a GUI for package management. It is way better than Terminal, which is hilarious because I know Linux, since time has been time, hey, you drop to Terminal to really be efficient at installing packages. Well, in Arch Linux, I mean, this is technically not the case unless you're installing, you know, 10 or more packages, you know. And even then, a lot of times if you have to look them up, it's easier to do it in the GUI and just using the search tool. So, uh, wow, really, really impressed by this uh, Arch Linux because a lot of people don't like using Terminal. I personally do, but uh, this package management, PA Mac, uh, Wow, I'm blown away by how good it has been in Arch Linux. So topic two here is updates. Uh, the updates in Arch are bleeding edge. I kind of understood this coming into it, but I didn't understand to what extent. It's really neat to just kind of have uh, a roadmap of what the rest of Linux is going to be like in six months to a year, uh, because usually a lot of these things hit Arch first and is pretty much tested extensively on these rolling releases. So there are rolling releases for like uh, Debian and, and the other ones, uh, but it's really nice to know uh, it's my very first rolling release with Arch and I can see a big difference as far as new features are concerned. My graphics, since I'm a Vega 64, heavily rely on the Linux kernel being up to date and having this rolling release and a lot of the newer um, packages such as Vulkan and other ones uh, have been just a godsend when it comes to gaming on Linux. So uh, if you're thinking about, hey, using mainly Linux gaming, uh, you're going to have a lot better compatibility with Arch or an Arch-based distribution. So updates. Really, uh, again, a very highlight of Arch. I thought I would hate it because of instability, but I have only had uh, a couple issues with it actually stuttering or locking up. I've had about three lockups, and I'm averaging about one a day, or actually I was averaging about two when I first started out, but after some updates, I'm in a pretty good area right now. I would highly recommend using like a time shift and also keeping backups of at least three kernels because you just never know when a bad update may come through because you're literally getting bleeding edge, not necessarily testing or staging or development, but um, very, very new stable releases. So uh, overall, I'll, I'll kind of update this on my next one and touch into it and see how this is going if I'm still getting those freezes because it's been about a day. I have about 24 hours of uptime right now on my machine without a freeze. So, you know, hey, it might freeze in this video, but uh, as of right now, it's I'm in a really good spot. So I'm, I'm really liking it as far as the updates is concerned. So the last thing I wanted to go over is certain driver installations or uh, assistance such as Vulkan, Mesa, OpenCL, all these things that help accelerate graphics or using utilizing your GPU better in Linux. Uh, because a lot of times your GPU just doesn't get utilized in many games. I think a lot of Linux users don't realize this, so they try out uh, one of the games and then they get in there and go, oh, well, performance is crap. It's done. This is just horrible. So out of the box, the gaming performance wasn't great, of course, because heck, nothing set up in Arch out of the box for the most part. Um, I got on Warframe and I made a, a video, which I'll link up uh, up above here. Uh, it was gaming in Linux and I went over Warframe. When I first launched Warframe without doing any modifications whatsoever, it worked but it was very, very laggy. So it was stutter. Uh, I'd have issues with the load times. It would just 
all of a sudden go and then it's just a not a pleasurable experience or a playable experience in my opinion right out of the box so uh, I went on you know the the repositories and and just did the palm Act, pulled up the package manager and the GUI and went through and installed uh, the new version of Vulkan which was uh, the DXVK dash bin file this installed both the 32-bit and 64-bit version and uh, some various utilities to check out CL info of course CL info package and then also um, GLS Lang for GLX uh, just checking out that information and what it was giving but uh, on top of that the other two I would mention is Mesa and Mesa demos and OpenCL dash headers and OpenCL Mesa. Uh, and then there's some other miscellaneous 30 lib 32 packages that I downloaded for specific games uh, just to make them run a little bit better, but it's very uh, specific to those games. Overall, this made it so much easier because I could just get on Lutris and say, hey, it's using, you know, uh, eSync or it would be using this version of Vulkan. It was very easy to get that and install it. Where before you'd go through this build process and go to a GitHub page, clone it, and then do all that BS and having the AUR either automatically build it if it needs a build or having the package already just sitting there and you just hit install. Uh, it, Arch makes that very seamless which i you know my hat's off to them and i've had probably the best gaming experience thus yet on linux using arch uh i did not expect that at all it was very neat to see a lot of these new features that you know ubuntu and the rest will be seeing in the future but arch has today uh so overall you know as far as that subject is concerned i am super happy with this uh as far as the lockups only a couple no no hate there but uh yeah, i'm in a really good spot i'm looking forward to my next update you know i'm going to have three more videos in this arch series the next one will be more of a professional of nature i'll be back at work i'll be able to test a lot more work related things uh especially with virtualization because from at work i can't get away from windows and there's many uh specific softwares i need or third-party softwares i need to run either in a virtualized state and i need to kind of address that so expect the third video to be more centralized around virtualization and other professional based features um, but for this one as far as you know being home for the christmas break and kind of seeing uh all of this uh kind of unfold as far as gaming actually being able to pull up a couple of those it's been a lot of fun and I'm looking forward to the next three that I make in the Arch series. But that's it for today, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.